Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are super excited for today's video. Today is a sponsored video. What? So thank you so much, Tweedone, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to sponsor a video and pick a specific reaction for us to do, go to our link in the description and you can do just that. So today we are reacting to a new group or a new set of people. This isn't a group that exists by themselves. It's actually a member from three pretty popular and well-known groups. So Stray Kids, a tease and BTOB. There's members from each of these groups that were in a competition called Kingdom and they all sang together. So this song is called Love Poem. I think this is going to be a great performance. So let's get started. Yeah, sounds great. It's like an all-star team. Absolutely. Wow. That's cool. So much to talk about. I know. Do you want to go first? Beautiful voices. Very just, beautiful voices. Beautiful voices. I'm going to say left, middle, middle right. right. Because, Perfect. You know, for now. Yes. For now. Um, I'm sure we're going to learn about them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a, a wonderful example of something of a technique that we talk about, we've talked about in other videos, and I think we've talked about all the time where... I, uh, my voice teacher always said, all your air all the time. And something that helps me kind of visualize that and something that I tell my students all the time is to fog the mm. mirror. Use all mm -hmm. your air. Really send it, even when you're singing super delicately. Almost like especially this. when you're singing yeah. super delicately. It, yes. You know, when you sing quietly, a lot of people can lose their tone and lose, yeah. lose that rich fullness in their voice and... You can have both. You can have a really beautiful, intimate um, sound that is still full totally. and, and, and kind of just washes over you. So this yeah. is a wonderful example of that right here. <laughs> being loud it's about really getting that full resonance and that fullness from your voice totally yeah i think that one of the things that i noticed right off the bat is how friendly the vowels are to singing and mm. we talk about this all the time because we react to a lot of people singing in different languages um and we sing in english and we all sing the in time. english it yes is not is not uh, friendly. I no. Would say. And I was even listening to an interview today of an Australian actor talking about creating the, he was talking about how he creates an American accent when he's speaking mm -hmm. and how he literally has to like swallow his tongue and his sound. And I'm like, hey, that's what a lot of singers in English experience. It's it's the way that we place our vowels, and I would say American specifically. Oh, yeah, it's an accent um, thing. It's an accent thing. And so it's not a language thing. No, it's an accent thing. Absolutely. That's a really great point. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that I always notice, but especially here, the vowels are just so friendly. I believe this is in Korean, right? 
I think so. I believe so. Believe so. The, and and we've reacted to you know singers singing in Korean, um, Tagalog, uh, Russian, Russian, and and most languages outside of English. But I would say especially Korean. We've we've reacted to a bunch. Oh yeah, is so friendly to vowels because they're very mm-hmm. forward in placement, and um, they just allow you to have that really good resonance. Yeah, almost naturally. So I noticed that for sure. Yeah, and we haven't done a lot of pop stuff, but I I would say we learned in school that you know. Languages mm. like Italian and right. German and French are often also a lot more forward and easier to sing. To sing, yeah. That's so great. I, I, I want to kind of break down. I want to keep going with this this performance, but I do want to do a moment of comparison. Oh, um, absolutely. Because you can hear they all have very different voices. Mm-hmm. And at one point, or at a few points, they sing in harmony mm-hmm. and they complement each other so well. But I think that it'd be cool to kind of compare them side to side um, because I'm hearing, you know, some of the things we talk about oh, yeah. a lot with resonance and, and we kind why of... Why do they sound so different? Why do they sound different? So yeah. I think there's an example towards the end of what we just listened to here. Right here. Wow, that was a great example of all three oh, of them. Yeah. So like kind of generically, I want to want to say what I think they all do very well and how they sound differently. So on the right hand side, I feel like he has that really forward placement vowel. It has the ping that we talk about a lot. You know, as soon as he's singing, yeah. nah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Nah. Yeah. yeah. Um, he just he has that really forward vowel placement. It cuts through. It cuts through. And and you can see it like almost immediately, or you can hear it the difference almost immediately, especially coming from what we've heard so far. It's in a different register. And he just has that really forward pinging placement. Mm-hmm. Then the, the gentleman in the middle, I mean, he was singing in two different spots. Um, he was kind of doing more of a head voice and then lower chest voice. He wasn't doing a lot of mixing in that line. But what I noticed is that he has a lot wider sound. Like a, it's a little bit more like open. Does that, what do you I think? Would, so this is going to sound like one is better than the other. And that's not, um, we're literally just describing different things. Mm-hmm. It's not, you know. And what I, we think they're doing to achieve it, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I would say that uh, you talking about the one in the middle when yes. he was singing in his when he was singing kind of his head voice. Yeah, yeah. I would say I would describe his voice as being a little bit more balanced. Interesting. Where, okay. Okay. Where he's got it's not quite as piercing mm-hmm. in that cut. I would agree. But it is, um, and you know, this is him singing in, in head voice. Right. So like it's not apples to apples. Right. But um, but I would say that he still has that really wonderful resonance, mm. but everything is super balanced. Yeah. And so it's a little more mellow sounding. Interesting. Um, mellow is exactly the word yeah. I would use. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then I think then you kind of come full circle with the gentleman on the left. And I felt like his had a little bit of everything. Like oh, yeah. it was like he had some vibrato, which allowed for a more like open, fuller sound. But he still had that forward resonance that, oh, yeah. that cuts through that we always talk about in pop music. So how do you get that? Right. How do you get that forward? Forward resonance. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite exercises is, uh, you know, if you just wanted to sing this uh, melodic line, mm-hmm. meow, 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 where everything is right here, mm-hmm. right? You know, I say aim for the back of your teeth. Yes. Meow, 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 meow. And I would even say um, something that has helped me is I open like my sinuses. I let, mm-hmm. I used to resist when things wanted to go into my nose. Yeah. Um, but now I don't, I don't put them there because right. then you can kind of have, um, too much of one thing and, and totally. rather than another, yeah. we don't really advocate for like placement. We mm-hmm. would just say sing and let your body kind of decide where things should go. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just that meow, 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 have that really yeah. nice resonance, feel it fully in your face. Um, Mm. and let it go where it wants to go and keep it as forward as possible. If you want to practice the exercise further, we've actually made a little, you know, exercise pack of our favorite exercises linked in the description box below. It'll take you to our store. Well, you'll find a little exercise pack of our favorite exercises and you can do them with us. Go for it, dive in and sing better.
I want to talk about what he's doing with his mouth. I've noticed it a few times now. The side singing? Yeah. I am guilty of doing that as well. I believe that it is a compensation. It is a, uh, what is it called? Crutch? Crutch. Um, for... You could just say habit. A habit, yes, but I don't believe it is necessary. Mm. I believe that it is a tendency that we get into because it it's kind of like this idea that we talk about all the time where it's like, and now I'm singing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you put on I'm your singing, singing. voice. Yeah. And, and like it's kind of the same thing as you'll notice a lot of amateur singers when they like I'll plug their ear. You know, like they're like, oh, I can hear myself better. And I think it's just a habit that we get into. Yeah. Um, I don't know his vocal story. I will just say to you guys – don't look at that and say, oh, I got to do this gotta, in order to yeah, sing like that. On, so. um, I think that, there, you know, he could have reasons. There could be absolute, like, he could have a story to that. But I would caution you, um, as someone who has done it myself, I don't believe it is necessary. And I think it could actually hold you back because I think it could create some tension and create some holding that you don't necessarily yeah. need. If you focus on making your vowels with your jaw, mm-hmm. that's going to just, it's its more work than you need to do. Let's Absolutely. Just, let's just put that's it a great way to put it. If you yes. focus on, you know, if you really try to chew your stuff and you're not just doing it with your tongue and your lips and keeping it all right here, you yeah. know, they say lips, teeth, and tip of the tongue. It's all right here. And that helps you know, we talk about this word efficiency all Absolutely. the time. You don't want to work harder mm-hmm. for the same output. And yeah, in fact, absolutely. When when you really turn up the efficiency, you're now getting more with less. Yeah. Um. And and I'm 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 guilty of that, and I think you're guilty of that. Where we've said, oh, we gotta push harder. We gotta oh yeah be louder. We gotta, gotta do manipulate. More. No, yeah. we gotta relax. Let it resonate. Yes. You're gonna be louder. You're gonna yes. you're gonna um sound bigger. All that kind of stuff. And it's n- not so much about you making it happen rather than mm-hmm. you letting it happen. Absolutely. Well, I want to back up just a little bit because that was really beautiful, like what happened just mm-hmm. before then. And boy, the guy on the left. Yeah. He's he's kind of got some oh my gosh. crazy pipes. 100%. Mm. We're stopping a hundred times. His voice um, is lovely. Oh my gosh! So, so he he crescendoed, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not pressed. No, but it is like easily blossoming. And I would also say the tone is consistent the whole time. I would agree. Right? So he's not even, and then he sends it through and it grows in volume. And the vibrato, but it's so the not, resonance, yeah. It's not like, la, 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 yeah. right? Yeah. You know, when it, when, it, when it changes and all of a sudden it's full voice, but right. it's like, no, la, mm. la, la. You can yeah. still have that blossom and that bloom yeah. without compromising, you know, that, that beautiful tone that you're going for. Totally. And like, sometimes you're going to want that kind of, raspy that contrast, scratchy yeah. uh whisper thing yeah you might want that but it's not because you have to and mm-hmm. it's not because like well i was singing quiet there yeah and wait till wait till the full voice part starts like because right. that's what you know mm. when you perform a song and like there's a intimate first part you're gonna be like oh wait till the good part starts like the whole thing should be the should good be part. good yeah you know the whole thing should have that really beautiful um voice that you have if yeah. you're if you're performing it you know absolutely can we listen to just that section 100%. again Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh man. So guy on the right, um, wow, is so is just so good too, and it's just they're just I would say giving air Absolutely. and letting it and letting it resonate and doing all the yeah. things that we we talk about. You know, oh, yeah, it's uh it's really wonderful. If you want to know how to breathe when you sing, mm, watch that. Watch this. Yeah, I have to watch that again because I feel like You're I using so much air and it's just awesome. It's really great. It's awesome. And and I think one of the things that we notice too with them is it's like their phrasing, right? Their phrasing has so much movement oh, and yeah. energy, which is a product of really good air, right? Yeah. Using your air. It's not just taking deep breaths, you know? Yeah. It's also using that air efficiently. And that's difficult. That's yeah. very difficult. I always say sending it. Yes. And I, that's what I think when I'm singing. I'm sending my air, sending my air, sending Absolutely. my air. Absolutely. And like that phrasing yeah. makes this song infinitely more interesting. Mm. Oh, right? yeah. And it's yeah. not something that like if you heard uh, one that, that didn't have this beautiful phrasing and mm. then you heard this one you wouldn't be able to describe why why, why is this one boring and this one's not boring right. or why is this one like straight so up ma good. magical, magical yeah. or this one is just like oh pretty good wow yeah you know it's things it's little things like that where it's like you send it through and you have that Absolutely. that shape and all of that is intentional that yeah. makes that makes that elevates the performance mm. to, to something magical 100 percent. um the other thing mm-hmm Blending. Oh we my made goodness! It, so we made yes. a video on blending. We'll link it one of these places. They right. Always change where somewhere. It yes. Um, but um, it's when he comes in, they're mm. matching the same level of dynamics. They're really good at matching these vowels, mm -hmm. so they sound like one voice. Blending, um, when you harmonize, is not easy. No. And if you just like come in because it's your part and it's your your favorite part, and and you're just blowing. Um, the other person who's who's got the melody right um, out of the water that's you're not doing your job yeah you know you are just because you you know get excited about your part right. you still need to really listen to that other singer yep. and come in matching them because you're you're the ornament you're the mm -hmm. icing they're the cake yeah you know the melody is the most important thing and yeah. you're harmonizing with it well and I think the most important advice we give or tip we can give for harmonizing and blending is to listen. And listening means listening to dynamics, listening to vowels, listening to energy, listening mm -hmm. to all of phrasing. what the person is doing. Phrasing. How do they move? Exactly. There's so many things mm -hmm. that you can learn and and you could, I mean, listen to somebody sing something once if you listen and then you could really blend with them and harmonize with them the second time. You mm -hmm. know, it doesn't take a ton of effort. You don't have to have a conversation. Yeah. It's literally just learning how to be a good listener yeah. helps you make a better singer. Well, yeah. and it's active, right? Every time you do it, you're really listening. You're really yes. trying to play with that person rather than just singing at the same time. Yeah, yeah. That's literally, that. that's exactly the difference. Like mm -hmm. anybody can sing at the same time. Not everybody can blend well. Mm -hmm. And that's not the same thing. It's a skill. It is a skill. <laughs> So I love that guy's voice and like his, accent. but it's, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of jaw attention. Yeah. And I would say he's really holding it and it sounds beautiful, mm -hmm. but I think that you'll see, you'll, you know, we can compare it. Yeah, absolutely. That the other two guys are not as active Muscle, yeah. and muscly in their jaws. Mm -hmm. And so that's not to say that, you know, they are, you know, we're not talking about no. sound better or any of that kind of stuff. They all sound amazing. I just feel like the two guys in the front are working not as hard. I think that's what it is. Right? He could be doing it. He could easier. be easier. Yes. It could, it could yeah. just be easier. Yeah. And like, you know, as audience members, what do we care? Right. It sounds amazing. Absolutely. Um, but as a performer, if you're if you're looking to be a singer, if you're looking to be a performer, yes. um, just see that like those guys don't have to do that. Yeah. And so does anybody have to do that? Right. Do you have to really mm. work so yeah. hard to, to to make that stuff happen? And the short answer is no. no. But you have to practice not mm. having that jaw tension. And that's the hard part. The yeah. hard part is not is 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 convincing yourself that you don't have to grab on that. You oh don't gosh. have to make it happen. You just have to breathe out and speak and yeah. you know, do it like these guys where it's just easy.
Well, and we say this so passionately because we're literally coming from that. Like we both grew up singing self-taught. Um, we created bad habits that way. Not to say that you shouldn't just start singing. Yeah, you should. Sing. Yes. But I think that having some good foundational habits um, will set you up for some serious success. And, yeah. and then you won't have to undo so much. You won't have yeah. to reframe your mindset and, and your whole technique and approach to singing when you're an adult. Um, we live this every week. Every Yes, and, all the um, time. Constant. And every week yeah. we're working on different songs and yes. trying to sing them better but it's really to me i've been calling it with my students lately the illusion of mm. control and the illusion that you need to do all this stuff yeah. in order to sound beautiful mm -hmm. and it's just not true it makes us mm. feel better because it makes us feel like we're doing something yes but but in reality we got to work hard here yeah not hard here hmm. preach dang <laughs> Teal, wow. singing teal. So, so I I think that's even if you're a native English speaker, you that's should you should, you sing should that. think e sing till the end. It's just a nice way to make that vowel beautifully clear yeah. and powerful and and big. Yeah, and it's such a I think it's such a wonderful um way to sing. Yes. till yeah till till. till. Is yeah. how we would say it. Right. Sing to, to. Yeah. I'm thinking e. e. You exactly. know, I'm thinking e that whole time. Yeah. And this is why we always talk about vowels. Is because it's so important. Mm -hmm. You know, it it literally can change everything. I, oh, it is yeah. harder to sing to. Right. Yep. To. And you can just see how he's just he's, breathing out. Yeah. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Uh, without making this video, nine hundred billion hours, hours long. long i want to go back because there's just so much going on yeah. that is really awesome yes. that's beautiful go far enough back I'm so sorry this is what I want his mouth and yes and like he has such good I, I don't know I have to listen to it again the I, tongue positioning I think is what you were going but for. it's also his vowel and the resonance like what I am mostly wanting to address is I hear this incredible sound how is he getting it right like let's let's talk through that let's a little bit He's not like, <sighs> yeah. do you know what I mean? He's like, I don't see a ton of tension. And I'll tell you right now, I'm looking for it. Like, yeah. I am we, always looking for it. We do. <laughs> it's we, literally we like, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Well, and his sound, I think, also sounds tension free. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of reverberance, reverb. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of resonance to his sound that isn't full when you have that tension. You know what I mean? When you're holding on, you can't mm -hmm. have that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that that's letting go which you kind of hear him do he does like a little cry yodel which is i think him allowing his voice go to that place but i think also his tongue position which is his vowel really yeah. um and then how he's sending his air and 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 all of that energy is coming through that mask yeah and so 
we're going to talk for a moment about like placement, but this is, you know, we're going to say his tongue was kind of up mm -hmm. and, and forward, but it's really in the neutral position. Yeah. It's in that neutral position. And what people tend to take from that when mm. I say things like that is they go, oh, sweet, I'm going to hold my tongue right here. Don't hold anything, mm -hmm. but practice having your tongue being in that neutral position. You're still using it. I'm still using it to speak, but I'm not making space by, back here. And I, if in his vowel is, hey, it does, it's not making um, my, my throat go back going, hey. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's a huge difference and it's literally I'm making space because I think it's going to be I'm trying to make it big yeah. or I'm just thinking eh yeah. and I'm letting my letting my tongue go. Tongue and jaw tension are are mm. a big thing, so make sure that those two things are not tight. Yeah. They can be active, but just not mm. tight and so don't hold your tongue there but you know, train your train it to kind of be there. I think you'll also find with with allowing yourself to let your tongue go and let your jaw loose and all of these things, you'll find there's like some really different resonances. And I think that's what we talk about as singers all the time is you want to feel like you're doing something. Oh, yeah. And so the jaw and tongue tension comes from us wanting to feel like we're powerful and us wanting to feel like we're, you know, doing um, we're a pushing big it thing. To the yes. Next level. I think what's going to happen and what I feel like I'm hearing with him is there is so much resonance in his nasal cavity going on like it you're gonna feel it in different places and and that's not to say okay make sure you always go for that feeling or put okay, it right there put it yeah. there it's it's more of an after effect what are you focusing on but also notice what happens that's an that's maybe a sign like okay am i free am i am do i have a loose tongue am and I letting things am i letting go things go, go? Yeah. yeah that's i just i feel like that's pretty evident that what that's what he's doing mm. and and the sound is like uh exponentially bigger yeah. because of it. It's a product of what you're focusing on. It's not it's not like what you're focusing on. Does yeah. that make sense? So if you focus on having that looseness yeah. and, and and letting your 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 voice resonate where it wants to resonate, you will then get this. Yeah. It's not that if you aim for this you're going to get that. It's it's actually kind of the opposite. Absolutely. It's so good though. Mm. So good. Put it again. There's nobody clapping. Why isn't anybody clapping? Oh my gosh, we'll clapping. That's crazy. It was so good. That's really good. Oh, I man. love, I feel like I love those kinds of performances where it's like, we're just really singing. Like that's what we're looking at. And yeah. they all were given an opportunity to really display what they do well. And I, we say this, I say this, not we, I say this in every single video that we make where it's like they all bring a different color to that mm. performance and to that song. And I think that's what I love so much about people singing together, right? Like oh, they yeah. have beautiful um, harmonies and they blend so well together because they're listening to each other and they complement each other. Mm -hmm. But they also bring such powerful and strong, unique voices on their own. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. Like they aren't compromising their sound to to blend. It, it feels like they're just listening to each other to try to like add to it. Yeah. And I just thought that was really good. Oh yeah. yeah. I uh I the one big takeaway I have mm -hmm. of that was just the 
you know, I would call artistry. Where mm. it's, and you can boil that down to that phrasing piece that we said. Absolutely. Where it's really evident that they have a point in each time that they sing that is the 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 big spot mm-hmm. and then they come off it or they start big and then they come off it or they are 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 low and they yeah. bring it out but every phrase every time they sing it had motion mm-hmm. and direction yeah. and that is just next level yeah. um singing and and I would even say just musicianship and yep. art, artistry absolutely you know that is what makes people go oh my wow. gosh what a mind just yeah it was amazing you know it makes people just melt when you have that really nice yeah. um motion and one that's it's so powerful and impacting like viscerally mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. i think that's what's so beautiful about the voices when when people sing well and they give of themselves in that way um they let go you know it's it's like it's kind of spiritual and emotional but it's also physical like we mm-hmm. talk about letting go all this stuff you can feel that and sense that as an audience member like oh, yeah. in so many ways and so i think that that is definitely evident in this performance as well 100%. which is neat um if you guys happen to be new to our channel and this was your first time seeing us welcome we are chase and malia and we love talking about singing if you couldn't tell um we love breaking down performances like this so that we can grow as singers and hopefully help you guys grow as singers too so if you are interested in stuff like that be sure to check out another video of ours otherwise thank you guys so much for watching today and we will see you next time <laughs>